this, west on my chest, flexing my pecs, I be hitting my reps, too strong to SD, the LA is next, coast up to the Bay Bay, the LV for best on my... Hey, what's up you guys, it is April 15th, and we are still in the midst of this coronavirus uh, epidemic, and I wanted to put a video out today to talk a little bit about dietary changes that may be beneficial for you, you know, during this time of crisis, okay? Um, because obviously it's easy to just kind of feel sorry for yourself and sit in the house and eat all of the food and junk food or order out and have it delivered, you know, all the typical stuff that um, pretty much plagues our society as a whole in general. Um, however, if you are trying to maintain a healthy lifestyle, even in the midst of, you know, what's going on, then I have some suggestions that may be beneficial for you um, as far as what um, I'm doing and as far as what, you know, I talk to my clients about and what seems to be working for them. Now, obviously, um, if you are um, technically challenged as far as cooking, then you're going to want to stick to more basic concepts. You know, you can look up recipes online, light seasoning um, on your food uh, will definitely be beneficial for you. Um, as far as, you know, in contrast to, you know, ordering out and getting a bunch of food with a bunch of preservatives. Now, I know we're trying to keep the economy going and support our local businesses. However, we do not need to um, decrease our health uh, because of that. And, you know, what we're seeing now is that, you know, obesity is um, a risk factor, you know, underlying uh, conditions are a risk factor for the uh, coronavirus as far as mortality rates. So we definitely want to make sure that we stay focused on uh, doing the right things and keeping our body fueled properly uh, so they can fight off these diseases, all right? And, you know, infections and viruses. Uh, so if you eat poorly, put toxins into your body, and you know, cheaply made foods into your body, your body's not going to be uh, as well suited to fight off um, various uh, problems. So um, I definitely want to make sure that you guys are focusing on the right things during this time. All right. So uh, first suggestion I want to make is smoothies. Now, generally, I'm not a big smoothie type person, but it's really kind of the easiest way to get a bunch of nutrients and get a bunch of calories into your body um, that are um, essential for you to have get antioxidants in your bodies, all right? Um, you know, using frozen fruit, you know, especially now we have a bunch of food in your house and you're shopping for, you know, as long as possible, maybe two weeks at a time. Get frozen fruit because you can get those antioxidants and, you know, frozen vegetables because you can get those things and freeze them and you don't lose as much of the nutritional value. Now, if you go buy a bunch of fresh fruit, then by the time you eat it all, it's probably gonna go bad. If you get frozen berries, which are really the best fruits for you to eat, blueberries, you know, um, blackberries, raspberries, you know, get some strawberries, you know, get those in because they don't have a ton of sugar, but they also do have quite a bit of fiber that's going to be beneficial for you, just your overall general health as, and also getting those antioxidants in there because don't forget, you know, heart disease is still out there, cancer is still out there, you know, diabetes is still out there. Um, and, you know, antioxidants help your body to fight off certain types of cancers and things like that. So you definitely want to make sure that you're getting in your natural um, and, you know, things from the earth as much as possible. Uh, and also, you can, the variety um, of additions that you can make to a smoothie, the, uh, the options that you have, in terms of how you make your smoothie, there's a there's so many um, different options that you have to to make your smoothie beneficial and meet your cal caloric needs. So we're sitting at home all day, right? So typically, you're trying to get a certain amount of protein, in, especially if you're trying to maintain your muscle mass. And if you're eating a bunch of chicken breast and meat and all kind of stuff, it's going to be much harder for you to digest while you're sitting at home. Okay, so if you can get that, and typically I don't recommend protein powders. However, you know, now if you're trying to get a lot of um, calories, if you're trying to get a lot of protein in, um, or, you know, sustainable levels of protein in, 
you don't want to be sitting at the house and eating meat all day because your body just not going to digest it because you're not moving around, you're not burning as many calories. So you can supplement that by, you know, using a good protein uh, supplement shake. You can use, you know, vegetar vegan, vegetarian uh, protein supplements. You can use whey supplements. I actually use a combination of both. I use Spiroutine, uh, which is a, um, a vegan uh, protein supplement. And then I use the Optimum Nutrition Whey uh, Protein, uh, both in each smoothie. Um, because I find that uh, it's beneficial for me to keep a vegetable source of protein as well. And I'm a little bit lactose intolerant, just depending. And so I find that the counteractive nature of the vegetable protein helps keep me from getting all the side effects of whey protein. So I mix both of those in there, some blueberries, uh, some frozen blueberries, a banana, and I put um, a zero calorie sparkling ice drink in there for a little bit of added flavor. And sometimes I'll put some emergency in there as well, because you definitely want to make sure that you're getting a lot of vitamin C, uh, because uh, there are uh, publishings and findings that vitamin C is helping to fight off this virus. So you want to make sure you have a surplus of vitamin C in your body at all times. Okay. Make sure you're staying hydrated. That is also very important. All right. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water. All right. Outside of that, you kind of want to stick to your, your basic meal plan. You know what I'm saying? As much as possible. All right. If you're ordering out all the time, then you should expect to feel poorly, you know, but if you're eating food that is easily digestible, it's not going to make you feel all weighted and bloated down, make you want to take naps all day and then completely throw your schedule off. All right. Because though that is important to us as well is keeping a good schedule. Okay. So sticking to your eggs or egg whites in the morning because they last longer as well. You can keep eggs, you know, eggs don't you know, expire in a week or a week and a half. You know, you can keep eggs, you can make eggs, you know, liquid egg whites, you know, if you want, if you want to make the egg whites yourself, you can do it that way as well. Um, keeping foods around that don't expire so quickly so you can, you know, have stuff that's not going to go bad real fast, all right? Um, as well, you can freeze your meats, you know, your fish, your chicken, you know, whatever type of meats that you're going to cook. You can put them, you know, in the oven. You can cook them on the stove. You can, you know, air fry them if you have them, George Foreman, whatever it takes. You know, you can just season it lightly and then, you know, put whatever additions you want onto that. Now, I'm not doing any recipes or anything, but I want to give you guys some suggestions to help you stay on track during this time. Um, as, you know, instead of just eating packaged snacks and stuff, this is the time to refine your eating. All right. And to, you know, get yourself in a position where, you know, maybe you learn how to meal prep, whereas you did not know that before. And you can improve your quality of life going forward as we, you know, try to, you know, get past this thing and get back to our normal way of living or somewhat similar normal way of living. However, that's going to look when this is all over, because we don't know we're going to be social distancing for a while until there's a vaccine or, or some way to manage the spread of this thing because it spreads so fast. This is going to be a long term solution. So you have to plan for the long haul. How am I going to adapt to this and not spend, you know, all this money on delivery and, you know, eating out all the time and making the situation worse, making our health worse. So I just want to encourage you guys to stay focused on these things and, you know, continue to work towards them. And as I mentioned before, intermittent fasting will definitely be beneficial for you during this time. It's going to help, you know, with your health. It's going to help boost your immune system. It's going to help with your rest. It's going to help you to maintain uh, good muscle mass and burn fat. It's going to be pretty much all around beneficial for you going forward. So, um, you know, fasting, focusing on your diet, and we're going to talk about, you know, various things that we can utilize during this time um, to stay sharp and stay, you know, focused on um, something other than the pandemic. And we want to, you know, keep our mind focused on things that are beneficial for us during this time, you know, while we're, you know, at home, while we're, you know, not able to go out and be about, okay? And we're also going to focus on getting some really fantastic workouts in. So if you're not part of our, you know, group, our Body Farm Live group, we got live workouts twice on Monday, twice on Wednesday, um, and then once on Friday and then a 90-minute class on Saturday. Feel free to join us. We um, love to, you know, um, push ourselves and to challenge ourselves. We're not taking what's going on now as an excuse to just throw in the towel and, you know, 
slide back, you know. And um, in my next video, I'm going to talk about why our models do everything. Um, and so I'll touch on that in the next video. But for now, make sure you guys are eating right, eating healthy. Next time you go to the store, get those things that are going to be beneficial for you. Now, and, and let me let me reiterate this. Don't go buy all the junk food at one time. You got to buy a limit. If you, I, mean, I understand that people, you know, you're going to want to have your cheat meals or whatever. You know, buy just enough for you to have, you know, one ice cream sandwich for, you know, every every couple of days for a couple of weeks. You know, don't go buy five weeks worth of junk food because you're going to eat it all in a week. If you have it there and you're sitting there all day, it's just going to be calling your name all day, every day. All right, so you're just making it that much more difficult on yourself. So buy just enough, plan it out, plan your meals out, plan your cheat meals out, plan all of that stuff out so that you have a game plan going forward because it still applies now. Failure to plan is preparing to fail. Wait, failure to prepare is preparing to fail. <laughs> so, uh, so you guys got to stay focused. You got to still maintain your discipline. You got to still put your heart and soul into what you're doing as far as your lifestyle. It's still got to be important to you. You cannot just take this as a reason to, you know, just let off the gas. All right. We got to refocus. We got to redirect. And we got to continue putting the same level of effort into being successful that we always have. So I'm here to support you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying the, uh, you know, these videos. You know, I'm releasing workout videos, you know, periodically that are public to everybody. Um, but we have our specific group that we're focusing on maintaining what we've worked so hard to get over these last several years. OK, so um, continue to tune in. Make sure you click the subscribe button uh, so that you get notifications as far as when our next videos are coming out. And uh, stay, you know, stay sharp, stay focused, um, and stay fit. All right. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.